So this is going to be a quick one. I'm going to show you how to update your Android TV or Google TV uh, over the S system update. Uh, so I got this notification some few days. So you can actually go to your notifications and then you can see here that you have a, a system update. Uh, if you don't want to go there uh, from your notification, you can also go straight to the setting uh, by clicking on the setting button on the remote or you can actually click it from uh, that uh, gear icon at the top that will still move you to settings. Okay, so inside setting, you want to go to system, you want to scroll down to system and if you click on system, then the next thing you want to click on is about. So that's where you're going to see everything about system update and all that. So click on system update and then you'll see uh, it will check for updates and then it will give you information. So system update ready. Wow, about one, one gig already downloaded. There's no much information here. So I'm not thinking it's going to be an Android version update, but probably a security update. So let's go into it and then click on restart now because it's already downloaded uh, the setting is like you know download over uh, wi-fi so it will start uh, processing the package you know unpacking it and all that you know verifying it and once it's done and then let me just speed it up a bit so once it's done and then it will now you know start the proper installation so let me use this moment to tell you something i'm using sony you know <laughs> x series because i want to get the latest updates i want to get a device that is certified by google um i actually choose it over um hisense because for me sony led <laughs> quality is way 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 better so you will notice the power light will be blinking during the system update to show you that something is going on and at this point make sure you are in an uninterrupted power supply use a ups is something if your power goes off why the system update is going on you might take your tv back to the service center which could be very very painful so once he has done uh, once it's done installing it will reboot uh, the system it just restart so this is it if you bought your android tv after 20 uh, 21 it will be called google tv so they are the same thing android tv or google tv there's no much difference so yeah so that is our new update as at least nothing changed you know <laughs> but we have a uh, an update on the inside so we're going to go to setting and check out whether it's an android version update whether it's a, a security patch update uh features and all that so we're going to scroll in because one gig is actually a big uh, file size so let's go in and scroll down android tv os version android 11 that's version 11. um so you see it's security updates plus other features like it's october 1 2023 and i've got this uh, notice about one week ago i was like oh i don't have time and when i decided to do it i want us to do it together so you see uh, the process of updating your system uh, updates on android so that's it let me hear from me in the comment section if you have any question i'll check for update again to be sure that i am on the latest update so yep there is no further update so i'm on the latest update and then i can now go out and check out some you know other apps and every other thing so quickly let me show you some of the app i basically don't watch plenty tv so i have dstv stream i have my browser i have mx player pro i have uh iptv also netflix uh, youtube kids and i think that's definitely enough already the kids have already you know taken over <laughs> the netflix on the big screen so um most times you just have to just sneak in and that's why it's good to have profiles and all that so let me hear from you do you have an android tv a smart tv do you intend to wear it? do you want to update it so see you in the next one